the remnant is a recipe. But the remnant remained. The remnant carried on. Tell three people around you, keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I'm preaching to myself here, but I want to tell you tonight, you better keep on moving. Doesn't matter what the catfish does and Pharaoh does, you keep moving. There is a destiny waiting for us. There is a promise waiting for us. Come on, everybody, keep on. I'm going to praise Him until my family gets saved. I'm going to praise Him until I get my financial breakthrough. I'm going to praise Him until I get victory. I'm going to praise Him until sickness is gone. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Mm. Keep moving. So here Moses comes. And all of a sudden, he's now standing here in front of this massive ocean. Just saw God delivering them. Standing here in front of this massive ocean. Fear all over all the people. All they hear is... 600 of the best horses and chariots coming to destroy them. Fear grips them. Moses cannot speak to nobody. There's nobody to speak to. Yes, only God to speak to. Only God knows what he's going through. Only God is the one that can answer him. The best prayer meetings is when you are in hell. And you are alone. I know you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just telling you. And Moses goes, God, I did not sign up for this job. I did not say yes to these people trying to kill me. A lot of you are saying, God, I didn't sign up to, to be divorced. I didn't sign up to be bankrupt. I didn't sign up to have a deformed baby. I didn't sign up to be in depression. I did not sign up to be in oppression. I did not sign up for this financial prison. What's up with this? God is saying tonight, I'm going to get some glory through that. I'm going to get some glory through all your stuff. Yeah. You may look at it, oh, it's done. My life is over. I'm not going to live any longer. Sickness has come. Poverty has come. Lack has come. Depression has come. Divorce has come. What is going to happen? Let me tell you, God says, I'm going to take that situation and I'm going to get some glory through that thing. I know you didn't sign up for that, but God says, mm, I'm going to get some glory through that little issue key you have. Here's the thing. Moses goes and he says, God, what should I do? I'm asking for help. You help me to get these people out. You help me with a cloud by day, fire by night, manna in the morning. You did everything for me. I'm asking you, what should I do? And here is the thing. God answered nothing. How many of you have been in that place like that? God, help me. I can't think. Speak to me. I want to hear you. You read the Bible from Genesis 1 right through to Revelation and nothing happens. Come to church, nothing. You hear nothing. God is silent. Am I speaking to somebody here? God, come on. Three million people, we're going to die. What should I do? Hello? You know what's an interesting one? 
skip a little bit to Joshua. Joshua chapter 1, my favorite scripture in the, in the Bible. It says, now, after the death of Moses, I spoke to Joshua. Check how God operates. Check, check, check him. Moses is dead. The angels buried him. He speaks to Joshua. He says, Moses is dead. Now Joshua. No emotions. No sorry. No nothing. Moses is dead. Now Joshua. God just keeps on ticking. We may lose a beat, but God is not intimidated by your circumstances. He's not intimidated by what people are saying and doing about you. You just keep on walking. You just keep on moving. Because there's something waiting for you that God's going to get some glory out of that. Shout amen if you believe it. I've learned this about God. I don't know if you can agree with me. But God is not in the details. He doesn't give details. If he would have given details, I don't think we would have done half of the stuff he told us to do. Is that right, family? God, these people that I'm leading are now against me. They're trying to kill me. They are murmuring and complaining. They all want to take me out. It's one thing if I have to deal with my enemy, but these people I'm leading... We were together. We saw the hand of God. We saw everything. We walked to the house of God together. Now they're turning against me. Killing me. Destroying me. Come on God, what's up with this? All God said to him is this. Keep moving. But God... Keep moving, Moses. But God, they gossip about me. They backbite me. They're murmuring. They're complaining. Look at all these three million people you gave me to lead. Look how they carry on. Keep moving. But God, keep moving. I, I'm just here as your Moses tonight. To tell you. Keep moving. Stop complaining, stop murmuring, stop with all this stuff and say, God, I don't care about the past anymore. I don't care about what all these people are saying. And I hear Pharaoh is coming. I hear my enemies coming and I hear my people are complaining. What should I do? I'm going to keep on moving. Shout, I'm going to keep on moving. Come on, the economy of South Africa is bad. What should we do? Keep on I'm going to give up. I'm not going to do this. No. Keep on. Moses, walk. Yeah. Come people, come. Where are we going? Just keep on moving. Can you see the seas in front of you? Keep on moving. God said he's going to get some glory through this. I don't know. I don't see the outcome. I don't see the deliverance. I don't see the breakthrough. But what should I do? Because tomorrow joy will come, breakthrough will come, deliverance will come. Come on, there's something on the other side waiting for you. Tell the guy next to you, keep on moving. Woo. They told me NBCFC will never make it. Told us. They drove around the church, placed curses upon the church. Sat in trees, placing curses upon the church. Go on social media and tell us NBCFC will never make it. All I had to do was. How can you build a thousand seater church in the middle of a community? Nobody sees you. No, 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 no. Keep on moving. I see the promise of God. How are you going to build a million or a 30 million rand complex without money? I don't know, but I'm going to. Keep on moving. How are you going to pay the television? I don't know. Keep on moving. How are you going to provide for your staff? I don't know. Keep on moving. Listen, when hell breaks loose, what do you do?
when you feel, I'm telling you, I'm going to give up. I hate life. I'm not going to survive anymore. I want to tell you here tonight, all you have to do is. Yeah, I'm moving on. I'm moving to the promised land. I'm moving up to the Red Sea. Waves are hitting my toes. Come on, God, you need to do something. You need to help me here. Keep on moving, Moses. I kept on moving when I was broke. Couldn't give 10 rand in an offering, but I kept on moving. I kept on moving when I had millions. I kept on moving when I was sick. I kept on moving when I was healthy. I kept on moving when I was depressed. I keep on moving when I was in joy. I kept on moving when I had no marriage. I kept on moving when I have a marriage. I kept on moving when my children were serving the devil. I, they serve the Lord now. I kept on moving. How do we overcome? You keep on moving. Move, 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 church. Come on, give him a ridiculous praise in the house. Now listen, I want to come in for a close. I want to show you this. If they stopped, they would have never seen the hand of God. And the reason why God didn't speak to Moses is because God wanted to show him what's in his hand. If they stopped somewhere and said, "Mm, it's not going to work. Let's not build this place. It's recession. If we stopped, this would have never happened. If we stopped believing in people, you wouldn't have been Ephesians. If I stopped believing in the hand of God, we would have never seen what God is doing. All God told Moses, keep on moving. But God, there's an ocean in front of me. Keep on moving. If you're going to stop now, you're not going to see what I want to do in your life. The miracle, the miracle is in the movement. So long as I get on moving. I'm going to get my breakthrough. If you stop, you're in trouble. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up again. Keep on fighting. Keep on believing. Keep on pushing. Keep on trusting. Keep on having my faith in front of me. Hey! Hey! Don't you stop dreaming. Don't you stop believing. Don't you stop with, with uh, holding on to your dreams and your vision. You keep on moving. God, is impossible. No. As long as I move, I have a miracle waiting for me. Say this with me. The miracle is in the movement. Come on, there is a movement that brings a breakthrough. There is a movement that brings a miracle. There is a movement that brings joy. There is a movement, don't give up. There is a movement, even if it's a little step, but it's a movement. Just don't stop moving forward. Shout, I'm going to move. God didn't answer because He wanted Moses to see what's in His hand. In five minutes, I will close the service. God placed in you what you need. God placed in you what you need. And God set up. Well, let me rather say this. Everything you're going through is a setup to see what's in your hand. The devil will tell you, turn around. Stop. There's nothing for you. Cannot do this. It's not working. Praying is not working. Giving is not working. Tithing is not working. Being in the house of God is not working. Being in Ephesians is not working. He'll tell you all those things to give up. As long as you pitch up. I 
I don't feel like preaching. I don't feel like praying. I don't feel like giving, but I'm just going to do this in any way. As long as I move, the miracle is moving. Say <laughs> so the miracle is in the, mo- in the movement. Stay with me. Moses, that thing in your hand, that stick, is not to rest. There's some tricks in your stick. Maybe I should have titled the message, Tricks in the Stick. That's a, that's a good message. Because here's the thing. You're going to hit the devil with something he doesn't even know you have. The devil looks at where's the weapons of Moses. He never thought that the stick in his hand is going to kick his butt. I'm telling you, you think, I don't have anything. There's some stuff in your life. Let me tell you that God is going to use supernaturally. Every miracle I've seen through the Bible was something people had that God turned around. The enemy never saw that coming. But God used that and changed the, the, the whole situation of people. The flower of a widow. And the little bit of oil, and the little bit of oil filled jars of oil. And the Bible says, he said, you go and sell all those oil. And she sell and she became debt free in the time of famine. What's in your hand? I only have 10 rand. That's good enough for me. As long as you have something, I can work with that. Give me a slingshot and a little rock and I can kill any Goliath coming my way. What do you have, what do you have in your hand? I only got a, a fish and bread. That's good enough for me. I'm going to feed 15,000 people with them. The 200 rand in your hand. It's just 200 rand. No, that is good enough for me to get you out of debt and get you a business that will fund the kingdom of God. What is in your hand? Uh, It's nothing. No, what is in your hand? When you move, the Lord will send His power. Now look at this. Nearly done. Here they stand in front of the sea. God. God. You must help me, these people, everything. God said, no, Moses, the thing in your hand, stretch it out. Yeah. And now nothing's happened. Hit the water. And the Bible says, a wind came. Read your scripture. A wind came. And the wind blew the ocean. Simple act of obedience, and then God moves. God, should I? Yeah. The wind comes. I am here by an assignment tonight to tell you that you're going to walk through on dry ground, no mud will be upon you. Then God said this. I love this. Send an angel before them. Follow the angel. And put an angel behind the last guy. God's got you covered. Yeah, Pharaoh is there. He would have never touched them in any way. Because the angel was standing. Come on, Pharaoh. I'm, I, come on, man. I want you. I want to take you down.
Say, I'm covered. Two more things. Even when God makes a way, think about it. Walk with me quickly. Here we go. Pitch black. There's no electricity. The wind came. <laughs> Judy, that water opens up, pushes the sea. A wall of water on my right. A wall of water on my left. When I look up, I can't even see the, the bring, the cusp of the water. It's so high. I can't see if it's going to fall or what. It's walking. Here's what you need to know. When God opens a way for you, it's scary. As I built that church, as I start that business, when is this water going to fall? It's year one. When is the water going to come down? Year 2. Year 10. Year 15 still here. When He opens the way, no man can shut what God has opened for you. Come on, give Him some praise in the house here. All you have to do is keep on walking. Keep on moving. to do was walk. Daddy, daddy, I can hear. Daddy, daddy. Who's holding up the waters? A wind, son. The same wind that's going to fall in Acts. Hey. It's opening up and we just walk, son. We just walk. You see God here. You see God here. You see me. And we keep on walking. Here's what you need to know. Daddy, that, that, that wall of water, is not going to fall? No, I don't know who's holding it up. It must be God. I don't know who's holding you up. All I know is God is upholding. I don't know how, I don't know when, but He's upholding me in His mighty right hand. And my foot shall not stumble, I shall not fall. Come on. Though there is a thousand on my left hand falling and ten thousand on my right hand, it shall not, come on, it will not fall upon me. When they walk through, look at this. When Moses said, come, let's go. When they stepped into the, this gulf on dry ground, they stepped in as slaves. And Paul says that when you go through the waters of baptism, you come out as a son. They entered in as slaves. When they came out on the other side, they were the sons of God. Come on, whatever you're going through tonight, you need to know. If you just keep on walking and keep on moving, you're going to come out on the other side with some power and some strength and some anointing upon your life. Thank you for watching this program. If you want more content on this, I want you to subscribe to my channel. And by doing that, you'll be activated in the supernatural power of God. You'll see in-depth studies on how to be mobilized activate it, move in the supernatural power of God. I really believe this channel will change you and touch you. So please subscribe, please share, and please give us a review on YouTube. God bless you.